Hi, Jacob, Unisport Web TV, and I'm here with Antonio Zayer at Adidas HQ. Antonio, thanks so much for joining me. We're gonna My talk pleasure. Adidas Predator Instinct today. Now, fantastic shoe. Fantastic shoe. Now, what was the first thing you thought about when starting to design this Predator? Well, we went and spoke to kids and really trying to understand who this player is and what they need. And one of the most important things is with this player being the hub, the field general, controlling the game, it was all about control in 360 degrees. And in the past, Predator was on the surface of the foot. When you kicked it, when you passed it, it gave you that friction between the ball. What we really saw then in our research was also how much time was placed rolling the ball or controlling the ball with the bottom of their foot as well. So by then reconfiguring the rubber on the upper, making it cover a larger area, as well as using a different density of TPU on the outsole to give you more control on the ball, we created a 360 degree story. When you sit down and, and you know, really try to innovate on the Predator, which has always been known for its huge innovations, how do you, you know, like, keep on pushing the boundaries? It certainly starts with the athlete. We want to make sure that we understand what their needs are, mm -hmm. but then have an eye to the future to understand where do we want to take the boot, uh, really pushing the limits. And in the innovation process, a big part of our job is also dreaming. What could this be? Five years ago, 10 years ago, we would never would have thought of putting control elements in the bottom of the shoe. So that was something new and different, and it allowed us to create a different experience. Now, it kind of feels when you put on the new Predator Instinct, a bit like the older generations of the Predator. Did you have that in mind when you designed the, the new one? Well, not everything that we've done in the past is should be thrown away. And again, really listening to players and understanding what their needs are from a material perspective, a fit perspective as well. Now, you've used Hybrid Touch on the upper uh, on the new Predator Instinct. Is that the future? upper material for you? The near future it certainly will be. We're always working on new materials. We always want to figure out how can we find the next greatest thing, but that, that great thing, that great material certainly needs to fulfill the needs of the player. How many prototypes did you actually go through? We went through quite a lot. Uh, certainly more than five rounds of prototypes with this Predator. Particularly yeah. this is one of our later prototypes. You can see the resemblance. It's, it's much closer in terms of uh, what we have on the table right now. But again, really working with the zones, really understanding the control that we needed to have within the boot. And then even starting with this control story on the outsole, we had little islands here and that certainly evolved to the boot that we have today. Because not only do we have to think about the ultimate performance, but we've got to think about making a quality product as well. Uh, the shoe's got to last. Uh, we want when someone buys their product, they know that they have that feeling that uh, I'm going to get something from Adidas that's going to last me a long time. So how do you feel having worked for Adidas for 18 years? Working on a Predator, seeing every Predator boot, how does it feel working on the 14th generation? Uh, it's very fortunate. There's a, it's not just me, there's a massive team of people that have worked years on perfecting this product and getting it to market and really telling the story. So uh, I love it. I never get tired of, of seeing a new product and putting a new shoe on the table for a kid. And when you developed the new Instinct, uh, did you gather feedback from the pro players? We do. We work with amateur players as well as pro players. And for them, pro players are, the, the relationship between a, a professional and their boots is a very intimate one. Uh, it's the ultimate piece of equipment. It's how they express themselves, but it's also how they do their job. And touch was very important to them. So making sure that we had hybrid touch material, making sure that the configuration on the upper was maximized their control, but also giving them that little bit extra with the control on the forefoot of the boot was something that they hadn't experienced before. The last piece probably is we included a little gel pad as well to help them with uh, accuracy, stability of passing as well. So little things here and there to give them uh, the control they need. So having seen all the Predator models throughout the years, do you feel that this is a true Predator? Does it live up to the legacy? Heavy is the crown that, that uh, the King wears for Predator, and we love the product. It's been very successful, and we know that we'll continue to innovate on the next versions of Predator. Can't wait to see what's to come. Antonio, thank you so much for talking Pleasure. to me. And guys, what do you think about the new Predator Instinct? Is it something for you? Well, let us know in the comments section below. And, well, which is cooler? Tell us, tell us, tell us. Because this was all we have for you for today. But as always, we're back again later on with more Unisport Web TV. See you later. We're out. 
Hi, my name is Antonio Zaya. I'm the Innovation Director for Football at Adidas and keep living that Unisport life.